Hey guys, I'm Media Bartle, it's Chris Tomer with this mountain weather update. Uh, let's talk about the bullet points here. I think the river is going to run through 112. Um, and there are three distinct uh, moderate intensity atmospheric river surges uh, that I have plotted out 14 to 15, 18, and also on 110. The biggest impacts are going to be to California, Washington, Oregon, and to British Columbia. The interior, so the jet turns choppy. And so you're not looking at that really neat west to east flow. It's There's actually amplification with definite troughs and ridges and so in the jet stream. And so that amplification will cut down on totals for the interior. I still think there's going to be snow, but we're not talking about the huge numbers that we've been seeing recently. We're not going to see that in the interior. All right, let me just show you what this looks like. This is an infrared satellite. You can see the lime green arrow representing the atmospheric river pineapple express flow reaching back grabbing the moisture and then gets entrained with these low big low pressure systems got one moving into the pacific northwest now that big low behind it is it's coming and it's going to bring a lot of moisture with it um, as well take a look at the uh, the blog post i did this morning um, three more ar surges through 112 um, and again, who that benefits, California, Washington, Oregon, British Columbia. So the forecast pattern, we'll look all the way down the, uh, the road here to 112. And when I say it becomes choppy, I mean, you can see it. Significant trough. We're just off the coast of California on 112. Um, that pushes all that moisture into the west coast. And the interior actually is under the influence of a ridging jet stream. And so there's that stress. There is a stress there, and that will cut down. You, do, you just don't take the moisture and slam it directly into the mountain features. There is a flow to this, and there's a definite direction, a vector, and it's different than what we've been dealing with at 112. Um, back to the blog here, I want to show you something interesting. Take a look at this, and I did this yesterday. Um, I did some in-depth stuff with the AR and the forecast takes you out 16 days. You can see the dates there, and then it does it by latitude. So the next surge coming in on 1415 is big. You can see how deep the colors, the IVT, is on that date. And then it's big on 18. It's also, it's it's moderate on 110. And then behind it, there are other surges, but they're, they don't appear at this point to be as significant. They're probably going to be weak surges, but there's still going to be some contribution. Uh, for as long as, I mean, this goes out 16 days, there's still some weak contribution. Um, so take a look at that. Let's go to forecast timing. Forecast radar and satellite. By the time we get into Wednesday morning, there you go. Um, here comes the big storm on 1415 hitting the west coast, but it's not as consolidated by the time it re reaches the interior. Um, and here's 17. Here comes another big one on 18 hitting the west coast from Whistler all the way down. Um, and it's still snowing on the west coast, and then it sends some snow into the interior. But again, it, it's fighting um, that ridge, that ridging of the jet stream as it comes in. That's 1.8, and then there's another big surge, bigger than that one that you see on there uh, coming in at 1.10. All right, so let's look at totals. And this is an afternoon update, so you're not gonna, the totals are going to be different than what you see on my blog. Um, here is... Um, the remainder of 1-3, so tonight through 1-4, 1-5, the numbers. Looking at 1 to 2 feet up in California in the Sierra, um, so you're capturing um, the 1-4, one, 1-5 one, storm, and then there's uh, another maybe 2 to 4 coming in to uh, the Tetons and the Wasatch, and look at Colorado, another 1 to 3, so residual, and probably 5 to 9 up there in the Pacific Northwest. All right, here's phase 2. So this captures the storm on 1.8 and also 1.10. The numbers are big in California up and down the west coast. So look at that. Uh, California, another 30 to 50 inches, roughly, um, on top of what was in the first period. So here's the first period, 1 to 2 feet, plus another 3 to 4 feet. Um, and, and I do still have concerns about flooding, catastrophic flooding in the northern valleys of California. I mean, that appears to be where the fire hose is just shooting in there. Another foot in the uh, the Wasatch, but that's over a six-day period. Uh, another foot, well, six to 12 up in the Tetons, another six to 12 in Colorado. Um, and look at the Whistler and Baker, potentially three feet up there. So there's some really good totals here in the second period. Um, let's look at the, the northeast. Now, things have really changed here in the northeast. Um, do I have that? Did I put that in here? Yeah. Here's the afternoon update. 
it really differs greatly from what I was showing on my blog this morning. On my blog, I was really optimistic about a storm late in the period. The storm's not showing up this afternoon, so the numbers are, you know, one to six inches, mainly on the back side. After we get some mixed precip with this next storm, it'll probably go over to snow, and that's probably where we're going to get some of those accumulations. So really the hot spot is the west. I mean, you can see why with these types of numbers um, in the second period, they're going to be pretty nice. Some good skiing right there. All right, guys, thank you for tuning in here on this afternoon update. Always appreciate it. Take care.